May your group help soon there. Please. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, um, across the world, women, girls, and gender non-conforming people have experienced unprecedented impacts of the pandemic that has driven us further into poverty, loss of livelihoods, poorer health and well-being, disruption of education for girls um, due to increased care work, increased vulnerability to gender-based violence, the shadow pandemic. Um, the inequality gap is further widened by the pandemic, and yet we remain as Inspirational towards the achievement of the 2030 agenda. Um, in addition, civil society groups and human rights activists are constantly under attack, closing up the space and making it difficult to hold the government to account on their commitments towards the preservation of our existence and the achievement of the SDGs. We must make progress in the implementation of the 2030 agenda as we recover from this devastating pandemic. So we recommend the following. While working on state recovery plans, design and implement gender responsive budget reforms, gender specific stimulus packages, put in place effective funding mechanisms to guarantee vaccines for all, and critical services for women, including sexual reproductive health and rights and safer abortion, include CSOs and private sector to discussions about state budgeting at all times, provide innovative and designated financing for women-led businesses, including conditional tra cash transfers, um, create and resource action plans to respond to the increase in GBV and designate all GBV services as essential services and adapt them to the COVID-19 crisis, bearing in mind that the effect of the pandemic lasts up to 24 months after it has ended. We need to build, strengthen, and fund public health systems that deliver UHC that works for women, girls, and gender non-conforming people without discrimination, regardless of age, ability, or documentation, and create, implement, and resource human rights-based COVID-19 response recovery plans that target the most marginalized and are designed to eradicate inequalities. 2030 is almost here, and in spite of the pandemic, we have to ensure that our pathway to recovery is inclusive and guarantees and protects the rights of all people, especially women, girls, and gender non-conforming people, and also create space for civil society to monitor the implementation and hold governments to account to their commitments to for a sustainable future. Thank you. Thank you.